Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. Thanks very much for joining me again for another video. This is a Friday Sews video, so as always a huge thank you to Jen from Today and Jen Sewing Room for setting up this fabulous hashtag. So I'm back to you after another week, another Friday Sews, which is marvellous. So to catch you up on what I've been getting up to. So last week when I left you, I was about to head off to that wedding at the weekend and that was absolutely brilliant. It was so much fun. The weather held, which was amazing. Uh, so I wore my lovely magnolia dress with my matching bow bag. I'll pop in a picture here of what it looked like. I was so happy with how this turned out. And everybody at the wedding was amazed that I had a matching bag to my dress. So of course that opened up the whole sewing conversation, which was great fun. Um, but I, yeah, I just loved wearing that dress. I really, really did. I was so happy with it and I'm definitely going to make a few more of those in future. Um, so it is a great opportunity to look at the style at the wedding. So everybody was dressed up to the nines. Everybody had the most beautiful outfits and it got me thinking about a few little things I'd like to make. So I saw some definite dress inspiration at that wedding. Then the following day we had another little night so I wore my lovely um, shirt dress to that which I really really enjoyed and I got no pictures at all because I was too busy chatting and having a good time. Uh, so I'll pop in a picture here because I wore it to work on the Monday after I got back because I just loved it so much and I paired it with my Marlow cardigan because the weather here is still dire. But yeah they look really great together so a lovely little me made um, combination there which is really really great. So what else did I get up to? So I've just been working all week. Um, I went to see the Barbie movie this week, which was great fun. So that's a fabulous summer blockbuster. I think I'm probably the last person to see it, but I really enjoyed it. Again, the clothes, fabulous. It was just such a great time. It really, really was. I enjoyed it. Um, so what have I been getting up to with regards to sewing this week? So I've only really made one thing this week because I was away all last weekend and I haven't had much chance to sew this week, but I managed to get a tote bag finished. So this was funny actually because I was watching the lovely Marissa from the Umbrian Sewist, I'll link her channel below, and she said, oh I've made a tote bag this week and held up the pattern. I literally looked down, I was cutting out the exact same pattern, so that was brilliant, so I messaged her to tell her that. Um, so one of you lovely, lovely subscribers recommended this pattern when I was looking for recommendations for my lovely canvas fabric. And it is the Ellie and Mac uh, Tote to Go pattern. It's a free pattern and it is exactly what I was looking for. So thank you so much to that lovely viewer. So I downloaded it straight away, got it printed out and got it cut out uh, one evening and then literally sewed it up the next evening. It was super quick. So it's a huge, big oversized tote bag and it's got pocket options and it's just wonderful. So I'll link it below. So I was able to use pretty much all of my flamingo fabric. So here it is. Try and hold it back and see if I can see it properly. So the Flamingo fabric is lovely canvas fabric from the fabric outlet down in Newbridge. I had bought this webbing to go with this bag. I bought this from Quilt Yarn Stitch, I believe. So it's certainly shorter than the recommended strap length in the pattern, but I don't think it really matters. So it's the most enormous tote bag huge thing here. I did put on a little patch. It says making is magic. I got that in my Kylian machine advent calendar two years ago. Love it and I really want an opportunity to use it. So the front has a pocket but not so you'd notice because of my pattern matching. Thank you very much. So here's the pocket. Huge big pocket there. Then it ties with little fabric ties at the top which I think is a cute addition. And then inside it's fully lined so I lined it with the same fabric. And inside has a lovely welt zip pocket. So it zips across like that to keep all your things safe inside. So I think this is wonderful. I just love this pattern. So I think I bought two meters of this fabric and I've still got a bit left over as well, which is really great. So yeah, very, very happy with how that came out. So if I pop it on for you, there it is. So absolutely love it. So thank you very, very much. Um, I should mention what I'm wearing today, actually. This is the Jennifer Lauren Handmade MET, which I made at the Beyond the Pink Door sewing retreat and I put the little watermelon label or a uh, patch I should say and then my cardigan is the Love Notions Fraser cardigan which I made about a year and a half ago and I love it. I just love this colour. Huge big pockets. Yeah, just love this pattern and this fabric is from the Crafty Studio. It's a French terry. So what else do we do at the weekend? So I did, of course, drag the sainted Mr. French Seams fabric shopping. He might have stayed in the car outside. However, I paid a visit to the most lovely fabric shop called Threads of Green. So um, I was aware of them, their online presence, and they very kindly sponsored um, 
a prize for foxtails, but I'd never been down to their bricks and mortar shop. So I took the opportunity to head down and it was just such a great shop. I'll pop in a few pictures here. So um, Norma kindly gave me permission to put in a few pictures. And so it has a lot of, say, uh, quilting stuff, cottons, and then at the front of the shop is all the dressmaking fabrics. And they've done it out really, really interestingly. So it's not bolts um, laid out, but it's little tiny swatches. So maybe about this big of each fabric, but it means you can flick through them very, very quickly rather than rifling through bolts. So I just thought that was a really, really good way of doing it to save on space. So did I purchase a few things? Yes, I did. So the first thing I bought was buttons for this dress because I wasn't happy with the ones that I bought down. So I literally sewed that on about 10 minutes before I left for the party. So just uh, clear blue buttons, I'll pop in a, pop in a picture here. But what the other things that I did buy were this most fabulous cotton fabric. So I'm a bit on a bit of a bag making kick at the moment. I'm not quite sure if you realised, but I just thought this would make the most beautiful little clutch bags or tote bags. So gorgeous. So it's a peacock and it starts out kind of white at the top with the feathers. And then as you go down, it gets bluer and greenier until you get down the bottom when it's this beautiful little print down the bottom and it's kind of got a goldy shimmer as well. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It actually would make a beautiful shift dress, but I just thought you could do something really clever with this, making a bag like you could do one side with the feathers and then one side like this, which almost looks like scales, doesn't it? I think it's fabulous. So loved that. Just got um, half a metre of that. And then I found, oh, I'm always dropping things, this magnificent fabric. It's almost like a kind of silky satiny fabric. And I just got a meter of this. I think it would make the most beautiful cami top. So I just love, it. it's kind of got Paul Smith vibes maybe I think for this. So for this, I would like to make the Etty camisole. So I'll show you the line drawer or the picture here. I made this for So Frugal last year, 2022. It's a little tank top and it's got the most beautiful scalloped edge. And so I have made the Ogden cami. I actually prefer this one. I prefer this tank top. I think it's beautiful. So I think that would be lovely in this stripey fabric. I think I'll probably put the stripes this away. So love this. And then the other one is this gorgeous fabric. Again, kind of silky, satiny, soft fabric. And it's kind of amely and aminally, animally, put my teeth back in. Uh, white splodges, pink, uh, and and black and then on this beautiful green background. So I got a metre and a half of this and I'm torn. I think I have two ideas for this. One, if I have enough fabric to make the top version of the fire dress that I made um, just before the summer with the beautiful kind of um, ruffly sleeve, um, ruffly panels that go down to the waist on the waterfall fabric um, I made, I'll pop in a picture. I would like maybe to make a top version of that. I think that would be perfect for it. Or, completely influenced by the lovely Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl. She made this and it's called the Faustine Top. So it comes in two variations, sleeveless or sleeved, just a very plain front with a little round neck. But then the back has this beautiful um, pleated detail and it's got a kind of low uh, square neck at the back. I think it's beautiful. And I think it's probably more suitable for more stable fabrics like a cotton or something, but I think in the drape and this would look beautiful. So this could be a possibility as well. So I'll have a I'll have a think, I'll have a think. But yeah, I think these fabrics are beautiful. So I'll link Threads of Green Fabric below. I encourage you all to have a look at her website. She has the most beautiful things. So that was a, a very um, a very nice little thing to do on a Saturday when we were just moseying around the countryside. Uh, so what else have I done this week? I have done a little bit of cutting out. So some of you might have seen my blueberry cross bag. I'll pop in a picture here. It's the Adam Sews hipster pouch. And I just love that, absolutely love that bag. So what I would like to do is make just a little pouch out of the pattern without the zip at the front and without the straps. Just a, a lovely, I think I'll use it for my makeup, a nice sturdy bag. So I got this fabric, you can see it there, from uh, Apple Tree Crafts when I was down there a few months ago. And so I cut out the pieces I need. So it comes, you need a front and a back, and then this is the lower portion. And then these two are the zip, side zip thingies that go like this. So I think this will make the most beautiful bag. So I've done all my quilting. So I've got the two layers and then I've got this squashy layer in the middle that I got from Quilter and Stitch, which I actually need to buy more of because this is the very, very end of it. I pieced it together for this. So, and I've quilted it. So some of you might be aware of the gold Gutterman thread that I have, that I've had for years, that I give out about every single time I use it, but I thought it was so perfect for this. So I was able to do some quilting there with the lovely 
uh, gold stitching. Absolutely love it. I think it came out really, really well with the lovely stars and the, the gold pattern. So this is my hipster pouch. That's just a bag, really, that I'm hoping to get made up in the next few days. So that's what I did. So maybe getting better the quilting if you don't look too close, but it is really, really good fun. And I decided on this one to use my chalk marker, which is a bit tricky to use, but it leaves a better line because the pen that I have, it's like an air drying pen. As soon as you start sewing, you can literally see it disappearing. So you're racing to get the end, get to the end before it disappears. And sometimes it's disappeared before I get there. So my lines go a bit wibbly. So yes, the chalk. If you do have any recommendations for really good um, marking pens, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So that is my week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this weekend we have a lovely bank holiday, so I would love to get started on my 5k Q&A. So I've had a few little um, quest uh, questions coming in over the past few days, so thank you very, very much. They've been great to read through. So that's, I'm hoping, not going to be a huge long video. I'm going to uh, kind of batch the questions together, but I'm really looking forward to answering them um, and I really hope you enjoy that video when it comes out. So I hope you're all well. I hope you're getting a chance to do some lovely, lovely sewing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. If you'd like to leave a comment below, I would love that. You know how much I love having the chats. And aside from that, um, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will chat to you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.